A lot of people get inspired to play lead guitar when they first hear a guitar hero like Jimmy Page, Eddie Van Halen, or Stevie Ray Vaughan. But it was a different solo entirely that inspired me. I'm going to share what it is and why it's still phenomenal if you want to play lead. <laughs> I recently asked a group a question for what they thought was a perfect guitar solo. I got lots of answers that you might expect. Sultans of Swing. One of These Nights. Comfortably Numb. And of course, Stairway to Heaven. And there were many others, but a friend of mine, Steve from Chicago, said that his perfect solo was George Harrison's solo to Let It Be, and it brought it all back to me. What brought it all back was that that was the solo that made me want to play lead guitar. Now I've been playing for two to three years, but it was all Mel Bay. Now I have nothing against Mel Bay, but it just wasn't inspiring music for a teenager or a preteen. So I was 10 or 11 years old. After dinner at my aunt's house, my cousin, who was 20 years old, a lot older than I was, said, hey, let's go listen to some music. How cool is that for an 11 year old? Now he just cranked the volume up like I never could have done at home. I'd never heard music like that before. But when Let It Be came on and it got to that solo, I was totally smitten. I said, man, I've got to play that. But I was really lucky that inspired me because you can learn a ton from that solo even though it's just a pentatonic solo. First, it does use a pentatonic framework, but it's major, not minor pentatonic, which is a little less common and great to know. And it uses good phrasing that's common for great solos of its day, slides, bends, and such. But the kicker is that it fits the song perfectly, and Harrison plays very melodically. But a big key to playing melodically is, you guessed it, chord tones. George used a ton of them in this solo. Let's have a look. Here's the chord progression for the solo of the song. There's only four unique chords in it. C, G, A minor, and F. The entire sequence is four bars, and it's repeated once, so it's a total of eight bars for the solo. All these chords fit neatly into the key of C, and the home chord is also C, so C major or C major pentatonic scale are good choices for this framework. But just knowing the scale is not good enough. That can lead to the dreaded noodling. Good players know that they can target chords as well to sound more melodic. Now George undoubtedly did this by ear, but you can develop that ear by mapping chords onto your scales. Here's what I mean. Take the extended C major pentatonic scale. Now mentally map the chords in the progression onto it. Here's a C. Here's a G. Here's an A minor. Here's an F. That may seem like too much work, but believe me, it really starts to become easy after you do it a few times, especially if you use three note triads. You still might be thinking, oh man, I need to play a solo that fits every chord? Impossible! But there's a key that makes it much easier. The thing that matters most is that you end your phrases on a chord tone. That means when you pause, you stop on a note that fits the chord. George did this simply and masterfully. Let's take a look. Here's the opening phrase. Notice it ends on a C, which is the root of the first chord in the progression. Here's the second phrase. Notice it ends on a G, which is the root note of the second chord in the progression. Here's the third phrase. Notice that ends, or is bent to, a note that's in the A minor, which is the third chord of the progression. Here's the fourth phrase. 
Notice that ends on a note that's in F, which is the fourth chord in the progression. The next phrase is a long one, ending on a C chord. And we end on this, a C, the root of the C chord. See what I mean? All chord tones. The more that you do this, the more your ears and your fingers will sync, so you'll start to do it naturally. Now, if you want a clear process and more practice to stop noodling and start playing chord tones, click on this video. Because in that video, I break down the process step by step and I give you an easy example so you can try it out. So check out that video and I'll see you on down the road.